I want to see all the B-Series lovers drop in comments because we did this for them. YouTube, I hope you guys appreciate this. I ain't licking this car, I'll lick that motor. I don't know, it might look better than the K-Series. It's starting to turn to one of my favorite cars. If you guys know me, I'm like really, really picky. I never thought I'd like a B-Series so much. Like, it's really good. Swap looks killer. Attention to detail, baby. Drop in the comments, what do you guys think? You guys like it? You starting to fall in love with the B-Series again? Don't get disrespectful. Last B-Series on the channel. The one and only time we're doing it, so appreciate it. Make sure you drop a comment what you guys think, how it came out. Everybody has like a dream car. One man's dream is another man's nightmare. <laughs> You're depending on somebody else to do a good job. I'm gonna think about it, yeah. I think you got more OCD. It's not too late to case swap. I'm keeping this car. You're keeping this car? If I would've knew we'd plan to like keep the car for ourselves, I would've just swapped it. Say it one more time. Who'd you do this for? For the B-Series, guys. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. A little something different today. Finally out here at BBS Sam picking up the Integra. For you guys that don't know, we got the bay resprayed. I had dropped it off to Sam a few weeks back. I'm gonna show you guys the car for the first time. I'm pretty excited. Well, I already know the car came out really, really good. It's in Sam's hands. Let's go check out the car and see how it came out. Yo, what are you doing? <laughs> this thing came out. What's going on? This bay. This bay is shining. If you guys remember, this bay was like kind of ashy. Had a little bit of a surface rust here and there. Came out really, really good. I had two brackets here before that we shaved off. One of them was for the stock air box. This car is not going to have a stock air box anymore. And the other one kind of like holds the harness off to the side. But I shaved those two off. I wanted to be kind of clean. I kept these in case I want to put the stock brace back on. It does have a spoon brace. Yeah, man. I know these are supposed to come black, Sam said, but I wanted to color match it to the bay. I'm excited to put this thing back together, bro. We got everything, everything to put this car back together back at the shop. Oh, It'll yeah. probably be running like two days, maybe. Say a day. How long did it take you to do it? Six years. Bro, it was literally done in... You sent me a picture two days later and it was painted. The color match is like perfect. Usually sometimes you'll have like, the bay will be a lot fresher than the car, but this is like dead on. It's kind of hard oh, to pick up inside I put, here. I put these on backwards, because you see how it's wider over here? Yeah. I, I, I didn't know what bolts you guys wanted to run, so I know that's smaller. Yeah. So I just put it backwards for now. Okay. Because if I would have put that here and you put a smaller bolt, you would have had the marks. The marks, yeah. Okay. And this car should go back together pretty quick. Should one more time. This car is fucking amazing. Look at that. Check this out. Details, man. I didn't even have to tell him to do this. My boy, man. I love you. <laughs> Yo, can we get an update on the black car too, since I'm here? Yeah, it's going to be. I'm super, super excited. Put this car back together. We already have everything pretty much cleaned up, painted, powder coated. Everything's ready to go. When we get back to the shop, gonna take the subframe back out. Gonna get that powder coated, clean up the rack. And that's pretty much it. I'm not gonna wrap the line at the bottom of this car. I kind of want to leave the car original. And I did listen to you guys. The car is gonna obviously be B-Series again. Pretty excited to put this car back together. Take this car to some car shows, let you guys see it, meet some new people. But let's take a tour around the shop, see what else he got in here. He's got a JDM front Integra as well. well a real JDM Integra, I should say. But his is a five lug. It's a, it's a B series as well, turbo. I think he said this car makes about 700 horsepower. You guys seen this car before on the channel. Sonic went for a ride along with him. Pretty clean car. We got a lot of toys in here. We got an FK8. This car is pretty nice. I don't know if you guys seen this on his page. 6'9 Banshee. This thing all painted by him as well. As you guys seen, I dropped this car off to him a few weeks ago. This car is fully stripped down. The body's pretty much straight now. He got the car all cleaned up. All the stuff that you guys are seeing is not Bondo. This is just a light glaze to kind of get like the small little dings out. Yeah, well, you can explain it better because I'm not a body guy. So if you want to explain uh, to them, like... So, I mean... We obviously, can it's go... not Bondo, right? So, yeah, but no, no, some people that... Bondo. So, this is like... This is like water. So, okay. once you get your metal all straight, this is just a finishing glaze. So, it levels it all out. So, you know it's not Bondo when... It sticks and you have pressure. Yeah. If there was Bondo there, the thing wouldn't even stick. So I'll show you guys around the whole car. This was just a little thing, leveled the metal, sticks. All over here, sticks. My favorite part, where everybody fills this with Bondo, sticks. And when you pull, you got pressure. 
all the way across. So most of the time, that would even you wouldn't even be able to pull it. It'll come right off before yeah. the magnet pretty yeah, much extends. Yeah, you put it on, it'll be like a light stick. Yeah. But if you let go of it, it'll just fall. Okay. But this is just leveling the metal. This was all metal work that was done. So and then we shaved it all around here. So pretty much what I had him do, because I know this car is all-wheel drive, it's gonna have a meaty tire in the rear. So I had him take the lip out. But I didn't want to cut the lip out because what ends up happening is the inner and the outer quarter will tend to separate after a while. So what he did was he did cut it out, but he welded them back together and then flattened it all out for me like I wanted. And it's not like super flat where it'll tear yeah, into the tire straight. as well, but it's enough to fit the tire in there nicely. And then when you look at the car from the outside, it won't look, look like it's been bowed out from pulling and rolling the quarter. I wanted a clean, clean look. This car is gonna be crazy, man. I'm excited. Had a couple dings on the hood that he pulled out for me. The door has some dings in it as well. But yeah, he's gonna paint, he's gonna paint this car for me next week. I'm gonna let this car sit here with him for maybe a, another few more weeks. Let the paint kind of settle on the car. And then he's gonna re-clear the car again, wet sand and buff the whole thing. I told him to take his time because this is a car that I plan on keeping and enjoying the car as well i want this car to come out like glass if you guys know me i'm like really really picky if it doesn't come out good i might not keep it but uh i'm gonna have him paint the interior on here as well pretty much from the back seats back i don't really care much under the carpet because i plan on putting the carpet back in and this car as you guys seen before is super super clean it doesn't really need paint and like i said i'm gonna have the carpet in here so it's not even really gonna matter but all the door jams are gonna be painted from, from here back is gonna be painted I'm really really excited to get this car back you guys should see this car back on the channel within the next few weeks. But my oh man is a beast. I'll show you guys down the car. If you guys know, black cars are like super hard to paint. Any little imperfections under the paint, you're gonna be able to see everything. He's doing the work pretty much two times, going over everything, uh, making sure everything is straight and looks good before he does paint it. I already know, I don't have to second guess Sam. This car is gonna come out amazing. So you guys know me and I have like OCD when it comes down to small details. But then Sam goes, yo, you have a paint run or a clear run next to the side marker. And he goes, you want me to take it out? And of course, you guys know me. I said, yeah. Yo, I don't know who has more OCD, me or you. Oh, you must know me really well. <laughs> I have no idea. That's a, that's a tough one. So guys, just a heads up. This run is not from him. This car was already painted before, and he just happened to see it. So for the viewers, what do you use the razor blade for? I flatten it. I just flatten it out. So pretty much you just cut the head, the head off of the... Yeah, some guys would put, like, tape on the corners. I don't. I just grind the corners a little bit. That's my trick. You got to have your finger right where that blade starts. You press it down where it's supposed to go, and then you can start working it. So therefore, and you never put too much pressure, just let the blade do the work. Yeah, normally I'd use a block on stuff like this after I blade it, but it was pretty much like out. Come to think about it, yeah, I think you got more OCD. What, why you say that? I don't know, I just had that gut feeling. <laughs> Check that out, baby. No more run. Gonna load the car up, head back to the shop. And then when it's all done, just call me. I'll bring you like 80k. Be good. Yo, you've been a lot of you've been around a lot of JDM cars, right? Yeah. So you have a you have a good collection of them. Mm -hmm. On a scale of one to ten, what would you rate this car? I'd say a good solid like ten, honestly. Probably nine, nine and ten. Probably one of the cleanest cars, right? It's very, very clean, yeah. I wish you guys could see this car in person. If you guys are in the tri-state area, I will be driving this car to car shows on the day, you know, all that stuff. Make sure you guys come and check it out when it is done. We're gonna be having also our third year anniversary now at the shop. We're gonna wrap it up here. We're gonna load the car in the trailer. We're gonna head back to the shop, get the guy's reaction tomorrow. So this is what we're doing today? So this is what he does all day. He just, he comes on camera, makes it look like he's working, and this is what he just sits around and does. I'm just answering you guys' DMs, so that, that's what's going down right now. Yeah, sure, let me see. I'm working, I swear. What up, YouTube? We are back. It's officially build season. I apologize for all the dyno videos. Just didn't have too much of the car builds inside the shop at the time. Get excited, we got the car back from BBS Sam. This is starting to turn into one of my favorite cars. I'm not even gonna lie to you, I, I think I'm gonna keep this car. BBS Sam killed it. He undercoated all the inside. Him, that. The thing is, he did all that because he knows my OCD. And he PDR'd the car for me yesterday, like a couple small dings in the fender. They pulled the dents out of that. I'm really, really excited. It's one of those you guys things, remember what all that looked like? When you're building something, right? You're depending on somebody else to do a good job because you already know that you're gonna do a good job. So this right here motivates you to just go harder and make sure everything on the motor looks perfect. So that way when you drop everything in, everything comes together really nice. 
I'm gonna drop Sam's Instagram tag below. You guys wanna hit him up for any he's, paint work? He's, I know he's slammed, but. He's slammed. You gotta think about it, he's a one-man team. He takes on a lot of insurance jobs, but you guys can feel free to hit him up if you guys are in the tri-state area, wanna get your cars painted or whatever. But uh, let's check out the motor. This is our zinc pile for this car. We still have a few more things to get sent out. Look at the bracket. This right here, like we got this powder coated, this zinc, like it just looks so good. Look at the hood latch. We were gonna do this, like the hood sooner. latch, we got the power steering pump, a pulley. Look at that. Fuel line. You know one thing we didn't try? We never tried, did we ever try a cable? We yeah. tried the cable, right? Yeah, we tried the, we tried the cable. <laughs> <laughs> didn't come out too good. But you guys sent this out too? Yeah, we sent that out, it came this out. It looks really, really good. Let's get to the best part. Yo, this right here is what's gonna tie everything together. Like everything is nice. We finished this off, powder coat, powder coat, all new bolts, all zinc bolts, I should say. Waiting on a dipstick. Look at the mount. The mount looks brand new. This is vapor honed from Tommy. Even the intake manifold, like, it's nice. I will get a montage for you guys. That way you guys can actually get into all the detail. We're waiting on a few more parts to come. New starter, new alternator, new power steering pump, a few other things that get put on here. I'll put the half shaft on, and then we're gonna get the engine pretty much assembled here on the floor, and then get it put in. This thing came out really, really good. The car should come together pretty fast because it's not like a full tear down. All the bolts up here. Distributor bolts, gotta put the VTEC on. This came out so, so fire. Even the mount bracket. You know what I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video? We kept the B-Series. <laughs> I told them that yesterday. <laughs> Honestly, I'm proud of you guys for leaving it in the comments. I think I've seen B-Series in the comments more than anything. They are right. I mean, we do a lot of K-Series, and honestly, I'm an enthusiast. This is not the car to work apart. Let me just show you guys the engine. Powder coated all the brackets. Still got a few more things to do, but hopefully by the end of today, it'll look like a complete motor and hoping to get the motor back in. Not too long of a build video. I'm just trying to get all the parts cleaned up today and kind of assemble, figure out what we need, make a list, and then we should be good to go from there. So here's the intake manifold, fuel rail. This stuff was actually vapor when it's not painted. Yo, just in time, baby. Ruin your video? No, you ain't ruin my video. Perfect time. Yo, what do you, how do you feel about this build? Well, it's just the beginning. I feel great about how the motor looks. Bro, you did an amazing job putting that car. That attention to detail on that motor is just too, too good. This is like one of those snowball effects. Like, the car came in, the car was like one of the cleanest cars we've ever seen, right? Yeah, Integra. For so we popped the hood and the engine bay looks like junk. Right? It did. Now, did they see it? I showed, they it, the I, showed, I showed it to him a little so bit. now how's the rest of the car gonna look after, you know, now it's just the switcheroo. The car looks good though. The car looks good with the PDR. The engine looks brand new. So you think- I you think we should just completely paint the entire car. Full rest, rest though? Yeah. No. Bro, the car is mint. I ain't licking this car, I'll lick that motor. <laughs> no, you, no, you won't. I think the engine looks better than the actual car, but like that's like that with any build, you know? I think the EG hatch, same thing, same concept. The EG hatch, the engine bay was better than the car too. At least this car is a type R, so you can't go wrong. He's starting to fall in love with the B-Series again? Don't get disrespectful. <laughs> it's clean, but that's where the line is wrong. Yo, in one of my last videos, you talked about your race car, so we didn't talk about it again. I don't know, talk Can about we it talk about it real quick? No, I'm, I'm upset with it. So J-Rock, it makes me want to go B-Series. So if you want to catch us at, we're going to Pan America. I think it's July 13th through the 16th. J-Rock's racing, my brother's racing, and Jamie's racing. So stop by, say what up. All Motor Class M1 will be there. Hoping to drop the engine in today, tomorrow, next nah, week. Not today. The thing is, is like, I know we're dying to see the engine in there, but it's like AC lines, power steering lines. It just makes it that much harder when you put the motor in. So probably tomorrow I say the motor goes in. You gotta get the bay kind of prepped. This thing looks good though. I like it. We tried to vapor hone as much stuff as we could, and then everything else we have to buy brand new. Just wanna shout out all the guys here at the shop, Sam, everyone involved in this. This stuff takes a lot of time, a lot of work, a lot of cleaning, like a lot of behind the scenes that like, you guys don't see it. Cleaning all the hoses, cleaning all the small brackets, uh, painting some stuff. It takes a lot of time and effort. Huge shout out to the guys, huge shout out to J-Rock. Takes a lot of assortment, a lot of organizing, a lot of cleaning. Like look at all the hoses that have to be cleaned. Like this is just a small section. Then there's a lot of the bigger section. This is how far we've come. It's been hours of the day already. We're still not there yet. Just to give you guys an idea of like where we're at. Motor's coming along really, really, really great. Cleaned up all the mounts. Gotta clean up the bracket. Got a new starter coming. Huge shout out to the guys. 
Shout out to you guys. So happy this car stay in B series. It's gonna look amazing. This is our first B series OEM build, not our first B series build. Our first OEM like clean restoration type of build here on the channel. I'm excited to share it with you guys. End of day one of getting the car back. Got the harness brackets all in. Those are all zinc coated. Rear mount is on. J Rock did a killer job today. Engine looks pretty much almost complete, but not just yet. Intake manifolds on. Throttle body. Put the spoon wires back on. So I got to do a valve cover gasket, AC compressor, slave cylinder. Things looking really, really good. I can't wait to see what this is gonna look like inside the car. It's gonna look like a brand new engine, transmission. Like the engine base is gonna look so, so good. Everything with all the zinc. I don't have too much stuff left. I think this is gonna come together really quickly. I think I might be able to put it on one video, maybe two videos. But uh, between all the AC lines, wiring, I think it's gonna take us a little bit. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. But before I head home, I need you guys to look at this. Even the details underneath the intake manifold, crossover pipe. Like half shaft, the attention to detail on here is just, it's good. Like it's really good. I can't wait to see this whole thing come along, come together. It's gonna be dope. Our first B-series OEM, OEM build, not really OEM, but mostly OEM. But I can't wait to see it all come along. Morning guys, back working on DDE's car today. Things looking real good. Kevin cleaned up all the hoses, engine harness, brake booster, still got a bunch of cleaning left to do. But let me tell you something. This engine right here, I don't know, might look better than the K-series. Might. <laughs> <laughs> what did you, you tell me earlier in the car? I'm keeping this car. You're keeping this car? Yeah. Jer, I got this thing looking really good. Yo, Kev, you want makes you want to go back V-Series? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the zinc. Jer got all the brackets up here. Got the spoon wires cover. I still got to do a valve cover gasket. Yo, if this was a K-Series, it would have been in the car already. Right? That's what, that's, that's yo, so it's crazy. Easy. Jordan said that yesterday. He said if it was a K-Series, it should have been done already. It looks complete. Look. Still so much. It ain't bad, though. It's coming along pretty good. Yo, this this looks so good. Because the K-Series is a lot simpler. It's not that much brackets. This looks good. I you like know, it. You know I'm disappointed? You should have zinked the gasket. <laughs> Zinc the gasket? <laughs> yeah. Yo, it's funny as hell. We got to get a new power steering pump. We just got the starter today. We got the alternator. We got a new distributor on. What else are we waiting for? There's something else. New power steering, reservoir, cap, overflow. All that stuff we're getting brand new. They ain't there yet. Still a lot of work on it's, it's, it's coming, coming there. Yeah. Clean up all the brake lines, like all this stuff is the original stuff. Yeah. Attention to detail is gonna be crazy in here. Coolant reservoir bracket, tow hook zinced, power steering lines getting ran. We have a new cap coming in. Shout out Resto Tuner. So if you guys need any of these decals for your build, this is a JDM one, so they come green. They have all the original decals for your cars. I have two different ones, um, so we match this one. I guess this piece where it says battery. Is different. Yeah, they had two different. I just yeah. bought both. But shout out Resto Tuner, man. They come through for us clutch. They literally have everything that you need as far as decals, all the hood ones, the AC ones, literally any decal that you guys want to replace for your car. Resto Tuner has them in stock. And then if you guys are looking for any of the OEM parts, Ryan actually moved to Acura. I forget his Instagram. I'll tag it below his new Instagram name. Shout out to them for all our OEM parts. So shout out J Rock. J Rock, Kev, the whole crew putting this car together. This this thing looks so so good. How do you feel about that? I gotta see it when. I mean, it's, it looks like a lot. It's very loud right now because there's nothing else. But once the grill is on and around it, I think it's going to be money. White on zinc is just too good. Yeah, it looks good. It looks real good. Makes me want to go back v series, right, Kev? No. So, yeah. well, Kev, Kev is so good at cleaning like these hoses. You know why? Why? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. Yo, you ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna get all this stuff put on. I gotta get new heater hoses. It's coming along pretty good. I like it. It's not a K-series, a little bit different. I think we could do this B-series thing, J-Rock. What do you think? I hope this is our first and last. First and too last. Much. There's too much going on. It's not that bad, though. We did this for YouTube, guys, because all the B-series lovers out there. Say it one more time. Who'd you do this for? For the B-series, guys. They've always asked, so, you know, let's take care of them, too. Don't but, don't say we didn't do it. This is the one and only time we're doing it, so appreciate it. And make sure you drop a comment what you guys think, how it came out. What'd you guys say to the J-series and H-series people? Uh, I think it's lunchtime. <laughs> time to go. Yeah. You said, Kev, what? What happened to Kev? Yeah, the stroke game is on point. Kev did a crazy good job cleaning this engine harness. Yo, look at that starter zinc down, huh? Attention to detail, baby. Check out the bracket. Check out the details over here. Picasso. YouTube, I hope you guys appreciate this because last B-series on the channel. Damn, like that? <laughs> you approve? You sign off? Yeah. Drop in the comments, what do you guys think? You guys like it? You guys prefer a K-series? Check out the drip. You guys like this? Comment below. Got the J-Blood. I don't Carbon know. Kevlar. I feel like the stock one would look a lot better. This is a pretty nice piece though. What do you think, J-Rock? You like the cover? I think the stock one would look like, I think it'll match better. I don't know. I think you're drunk. Think I'm drunk? Yeah. Check out the details though. It's too good. I like it. It's too clean. 
It's not too late to case swap. Not too late to case swap. You could just sell this, <laughs> right? No. B series. It's too clean. Well, it's even the OEM. Yeah. Only, only maybe some OGs know proper hardware. Everything is back to where it needs to be. I like it. It was like a puzzle piece. Yeah. You would know though. You I had a B series when back. I was a kid. I don't know how I ended up here. <laughs> After we're done fighting, we'll get an ice blast. That's it. We're done. Brand new fuel filter from Honda, Acura. Boosters on, masters on. How do you feel about the hood latch? Need your opinion. We dropped it in the zinc pile. Don't know how I feel about it just yet. You like it? I mean, at this point, we have no choice but to leave it on. So. I think once the bumper and stuff is on, you won't be able to see it like that much. He was a quick walk on the bay. Sam killed it. J Rock killed it. Meg, everyone killed it. Swap looks good. I don't show you guys a billion times. I just can't get my eyes off of it. Take it home with me. <laughs> he said take it home with me? Swap looks killer. Even though we do a lot of K-series here, it's weird to see a B-series here on the floor all set up, all done nice. It's nice though. It's Bro, nice. Been, it's a nice change. We've been cleaning pieces, restoring pieces, buying new pieces. It's just crazy how much stuff you bought. How much did you spend? Almost like well, two grand on just on four things. Yeah, starter, starter alternator, alternator, distributor, and no something else. How you know that one thing? Huh? You know, you know Yo, who I am? Hold on, hold on. It's green. I don't like it, bro. It's OEM, it, though. It, match, <laughs> it matches the alternator plug. Shout out my boy Kev, huh? Stroke Daddy. It's stroke Daddy. Call him Stroke Daddy in the comments. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> What's up guys? So day three here in the shop. Sonic, if you're watching this, you better put this in the channel. Where's Sonic at? Been waiting for him. <laughs> this is a big day. He's about to drop a motor in and he's MIA. Crazy. Well, like always, I guess we'll do this without him. <laughs> Motor's all set, ready to go in. This is my favorite part. I finally get to see the car all together now. The good thing is everybody, everything's pretty much in and ready to go. It's just plug and play. I think by the end of today it should run. So Jerry got all the brackets in, power steering line in, AC lines in. Condensers in, motor all set pretty much. This car should be running what? End of the week? Uh, I think today. Today? Yeah, it's literally once the motor's in, it's just plug the harness in, power steering. It's not even that crazy. Yeah, that's pretty much it. You ready? You ready? Hell yeah, baby. I'm ready to take it home. I'm gonna put it away in my garage. <laughs> I'm ready to see this gone. <laughs> <laughs> I Yo, came, look I who came, decided to show up, huh? I came in clutch. Hold on, what time is it? Don't start. You know what? Damn, I IG, look at it. It's 12 o'clock. What time do we open? 9 a.m. You know why I showed up? Because look. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why I was late. I'll tell you why I was late. He was tuning your car. I no, I know what you did. Let me see your nails. You did a pedicure today. You got your nails done. He was watching the camera. As soon as you see the motor in, he pops out the back door. Yeah. That's crazy. I walk right in and you guys are doing this. You always come like when we're when the hard part is done. You guys asked me to get the picture for you guys and we know where the brackets are. So, you know, I had to do that for you guys this morning. It took three hours? Three hours? <laughs> no, I ain't gonna lie. Like, this shit looks fucking good in here. I asked him to send me a picture of this bracket set up here. See this bracket here? What time did the picture come in? Hold on, no, no. It wasn't even about the time. I asked him to send me this picture right here, right? B series? Yeah. You know what he sends me? <laughs> yeah. He sends me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, That's a K series, yeah. bro. What I did that on purpose. <laughs> what he sends me. Yeah, he takes me back A side like, you fucking drunk. I said, bro, you, you drunk? <laughs> <laughs> One yeah. job. Yeah, this to be funny, right? Because he texted me this morning and he goes, Yo, can you send me a picture of the Type R? I said, Bro, what are you talking about? He's like, Oh, you must be clapped today. And I was like, What are you talking about? He's like, The bracket. So I go in the garage, I was like, I got something funny because he already said I was like fucked up. So I popped the hood of Type R, took a picture of the bracket. I know it's a K series. And then I sent it to him, he's like, Bro, you fucking drunk. <laughs> Yo, too fucking funny. Yo, what's the, like, what are you gonna do with the car? I'm taking it home. I told Kevin already. The crazy part is, I got a four post lift getting installed in my garage this week, and this car is coming home with me. So, you're keeping the car? Yes. You think he's gonna keep this? This is your car, you finish it then. <laughs> if I would have knew we'd plan to like, keep the car for himself, I would have just swapped it at that point. I'll let you guys do your thing on it because I'm gonna keep it. My brother, he wants to buy a spoon cluster for this. How much is the spoon cluster? Five thousand or six five. five or six thousand dollars. I thought we looked it up on eBay. It was like seventy five hundred. Seventy five hundred. My boy, my boy's selling it. It's oh. like, yo, should we put should we put a spoon cluster in here? 
I don't. Yeah. Only reason I'll agree is because the car has spoon hood, spoon lips, spoon mirrors, spoon wheels. So everybody has like a dream car, right? So the NSX was my dream car. We have that now. I always wanted a JDM front car that, that was clean. It's hard to find these cars clean. This one, we got lucky when we found this one. We got a lot of dreams. Yeah. <laughs> we don't got enough room. People, people dream of like exotic cars. I dream of imports. This is one of my dream cars. One man's dream is another man's nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at this thing, bro. I can't let this car go. Not right now, at least. It's good. It's really good. I like it. We're going to take it to car shows. I'm not drag racing anymore, so I'm going to be at the car yeah, shows. This one. I'm going to be drinking White Claws. What a pussy. We to button up the hey, motor mount. Matter of fact, I got this. Cameraman is back. I'm just Cameraman. here. Cameraman. Okay, I'm here for. You know your title. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Looks fucking good. Yo, this looks so good with the valve cover. Oh, YouTube. If you guys have any shit talking to do, make sure it's towards Sonic because he's the one that didn't pick up on all the assembly. It's his fault, not our fault. Here it is. Yeah, I see style. Let him have it in the comments. Don't, don't, don't do me like that. I got a busy life. I got a busy. Yeah, I'm you wake up at like eleven. <laughs> <laughs> maybe brush your teeth and then just show up to the party. That's pretty messed up. Right, you guys gonna get this vision of me that I don't do shit. It's about the size of you. <laughs> Motor's in. Yo, let me get around the plus. Said you got the rest. Take it from here. Trust him, but <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Can't wait till this thing's complete. It's gonna look good. What do you think it's gonna start? Honestly, with knowing J Rock, it's just probably gonna start by the end of the day. No, it can't. I'm missing parts from Honda out here. Oh, Monday, man. Monday or Tuesday. I'm gonna go like probably two more days. So we got a new dipstick. Got a bunch of new gaskets coming in. We got OEM drive belts coming. New reservoir overflow. We got coolant temp sensors, fan switch, throttle body gasket, and throttle cable. And I think Monday, Tuesday ish should be mostly like complete. That. With that, now looks, it looks good. Now it looks good. by itself is like a little funny, but now. Yeah. Well, you're probably not even going to see it. End of day here today. The car looks amazing. I'm just going to go through it one more time. I don't know what they showed you. Headers on. Everything's like, everything's pretty much close. I'm just waiting on parts from Honda. And then this car should start up sometime next week. This thing looks so good. I never thought I'd like a B series so much. Every little bracket, every bolt. Uh, waiting on throttle body gasket. It's coming along really, really nice. Intake's over there. New reservoir is coming next week. What I really like is condenser. Thing is like brand new. Everything in this build is just coming along really, really good. I'm actually surprised. It came along faster than I expected. I think this is all going to be one video. Pretty much restore the car in one video. We already had a lot of the stuff ready prepped and ready to go. When the car came back, it came along super quick. I promise I'm going to do a better job at editing, recording. It's just a lot for me. You know, I'm doing a lot here. I'm pretty much recording what I can. But show some love to the guys in the comments. J-Rock, my brother, Kevin. This thing does not come easy. So much cleaning went on behind the scenes. We're getting everything organized, cleaned up, ready to go. Got to clean the fender liners, rest of the AC lines. And then hopefully, like I said, Monday, Tuesday, I'm hoping to get it running. I think we're taking some of our cars to Honda Fest. If you guys are local, come by, stop by, say what's up. We're also going to Pan America. Make sure to stop by, show some love in the comments. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. I want you guys to also drop in the comments, what's your favorite part about this build? For me, it's all the zinc in here in the engine bay. Like, what do you love the most? I can give you guys one quick, slow walk around of this. I know I'm, I usually go through things pretty, pretty quickly. But uh, all the brackets are done, fuel lines, vacuum hoses, all the clamps, all the small bolts, all the details. Like everything that we could have got zinced, we got it done, you know? New decals, hood prop, hood prop clips. It's all about the details. I love that my brother always says that, and then he's right about all that. But check it out, spoon header. It'd be dope if I had a factory one, but that's the theme of the build. It's pretty much spoon everything. But yeah, drop in the comments, show some love. Let me know what you guys think. Big day here today. We're starting the DDE ITR. It's not completely finished, but we got enough things on the engine to get it running. We're still waiting on a few more parts to come in. I think for the most part, this build is finished. You excited? I got the list of stuff in my house. I'm taking it home with me. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Take it today, please. You ready to get this shit out of your bay, huh? Every car that comes in here. I was talking to J-Rock earlier and we were like, this build came on so quick. The details are underneath the motor. All the brackets, all the zinc parts. It's hard to see when the motor's in the car. You can see. You could you see. Can. But you guys get the gist. We're technically going to do the first startup, which is the car already you know runs. You do the honor since you're keeping it. So here we go. I think so quiet. <laughs> 
It is. It's not like a K series. And then I think we should have the car pretty much buttoned up by the end of the week. Then we gotta get the headlights, like basically, I think we can get them refinished, like re cleared or something, and then put the front back together. He can take this thing to his house. What's the plan? Like, what are you gonna do with the car? Catch you at the car shows. Catch you at the car shows? Yep. I'll get a quick montage of the car for you guys. Drop in the comments what you guys think of the car, what you guys think of the build. I wanna see all the B Series lovers drop in comments because we did this for them. So hey, yo, how many times? I don't wanna see all K Series comments. I got a I bunch of DMs. I did get a bunch of DMs that said thank you for keeping the B Series. There is a lot of people. People, you guys watching a lot of B series lovers drop it in the comments because we drop a case series in another EG hash again like oh man do something different so this is something different for you guys even though it came together really quickly I think it would have been quicker to case walk it honestly I don't think so you what? had this car together in two days bro the amount of time yeah but what about tearing it all down That's every true. little bracket true. like there's probably six times as many brackets on this than a case walk Check out that power steering reservoir thing, it's fresh. All right, I won't keep stringing this video. I'll jump into the montage for the car, and then hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. Before we close out this video, I need you guys to show the guys some love. Shout out all you guys. This wouldn't be possible without all these guys here. J-Rock, Kevin, my brother. Literally a lot of time, effort went into all this. So much cleaning, so much assembly, so much prep work. Shout out to everybody here. This vision came through with all you guys. Can I transfer departments? J-Rock, we love you. Show my boy some love in the comments. See you guys later.